What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. Today I want to talk about ranking up the Battle Pass and some of the quickest or fastest ways that you can do that. Now there is no set in stone way that's going to make this just breeze right through it or anything like that. You know, it's still going to be a grind. It's still a, a, a kind of a long process, but there are some things or some steps you can take to help you rank this up a little bit quicker. The first thing, of course, is going to be double XP tokens. It seems that anything you get double XP wise also helps with the battle pass kind of progression speed. So there are some double XP tokens within the battle pass itself. So once you unlock those, pop those on, make sure that you're using them. Just remember those things do not discount in game time. They count in real time. So as soon as you use one, make sure that you are playing because if you're not, you will lose that double XP that you have uh, already active. Also, there are some companies out there still running uh, some things for Call of Duty. The people that Activision had partnered with, Tostinos, Mountain Dew, and Doritos. You can go to your local stores, check any of those you know, products, and some of, them, some of them will be marked with the Modern Warfare tag. All those products that are marked with that Modern Warfare tag do have double XP within them, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Or so if you have any of those products in your home or you're out shopping, you might want to check some of those out to get a little bit of extra XP to help you out along the way. The next thing is going to be officer challenges and daily challenges. You need to make sure you're doing all of the challenges that you can. That way you get those large chunks of XP from those daily challenges and those officer challenges. So far, the officer challenges that I have received the first like 15 uh, to 20 have been fairly easy to do. So make sure that you're checking out your officer challenges every time that you get on and play and make sure you check out your daily challenges. They always reset at uh, 12 p.m. for me. So that's like 10 a.m. Um, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Central or 1 p.m. Eastern time. But make sure you check out those dailies and you check out all of your officer challenges that you can do because there's there's a lot of XP there to be gained. It will also help you rank up just in rank in general, but also will help the battle pass out as well. One of the biggest things that I have seen so far is the trials. Trials uh, are, you know, of course, a thing that is in the playlist that you can try out is just a, a solo thing that you do. You do some time trials, different time trials, depending on which one you select. You can get one to two to three stars on this. The three, the three star, of course, pays out the most XP, but these do not take very long. A minute or two to do them or a minute or two to complete them. I have a ton of tickets right now. You have to check your tickets down uh, on your menu and in game. You'll show, it'll show how many tickets you have, uh, kind of where the trial section is. But you can run through some of these and get a lot of XP as well. So take advantage of those trials along the way to gain extra XP. And as you rank up, you will gain extra tickets also in game. Uh, co-op and multiplayer both offer, you know, XP towards the battle pass. So if you are a co-op fan, you can definitely try out co-op. I've heard a lot of people say that, you know, they have a group that can complete these co-op missions pretty easily. They've been doing them for a while. If you have not done co-op yet, it is pretty difficult. So it's not something you might want to just hop into. You might be a little quicker. It might be a little quicker for you to rank up in multiplayer, but if you're someone that plays co-op a good bit, you can breeze through those co-op missions pretty quickly. I would definitely recommend co-op as well because it will give you a mountain of XP along the way. And one last thing that I can think of is anything in game that can help you gain extra points toward your, towards your final score. So if you're a ground war player or just a player in anything, uh, anything like a UAV or an advanced UAV will also help out because you're going to gain extra points for other players getting kills when you have those streaks out. So just keep that in mind also. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click the bell icon so you know when all my videos go live. And of course, if you have time, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.